Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you an unboxing or unwrapping of origami paper. Um, I found another fun kind of kit and to be honest I haven't seen very many new food kind of parts of, of the series that Grim Hobby does that I hadn't already shared with you. So when I saw this I was like wait a second you know I've I don't know if I've seen this, or if I have, I've never thought to share it with you guys. So, um, this is the uh, Grim Hobbies Sweets Collections Fruit Basket uh, Collection here. You've got, um, obviously, you can kind of see there's watermelon, uh, mekon, tangerine, strawberries, um, uh, little tiny banana, and a green apple, and a red apple and a basket even to put things in. So uh, six different fruits, as you could tell, to make, and then the basket to put them in. So that's kind of cool. And um, these series are about 300 yen, and they're just fun because they come with this pre-printed paper to help make it fun to uh, make your own projects. And as you can see, it gives you um, enough paper for two of everything. So basically what you see on the cover, two, two, uh, two and two and then these guys are in the basket so you can kind of imagine they're also there available so you get two of everything and one basket and then some extra pieces of origami paper um, presumably for some other things here inside so let's go ahead and open up and take a look these kits are always so much fun because they have such fun paper inside and the instructions are usually pretty good too um, the uh, um, I can't share with you guys how to make all this stuff, of course, but it's always a good, fun stuff that they've got inside here. So this is sort of the way things, everything can look when you're finished. And they just have the basic instructions of how to make things and really easy to follow, clear instructions usually for these things. And, you know, they have the pre little crease guidelines for some folds that might be a little confusing if you're not sure exactly where to, where to do stuff. This is the big piece for the basket kind of cool and then all these guys here for the different fruits so um you know and like I said a couple of little creases there to help you along I'll, I'll go ahead and make the watermelon really quick and show you guys how it looks <laughs> but the uh chiogami is it's it's printed you know chiogami paper it's fairly thin you can see how you can see through it there it's not you know super high quality by any means I mean, in terms of, of the weight of the paper. Uh, the quality comes from the instructions and the fun of the design. Um, but, you know, it's not going to last forever. Uh, they could have made this, you know, a little thicker, and then you could have had something, maybe a, a toy that would li last a little longer, I think. But this is the way they do it usually. So um, let me go ahead, like I said, and I'll put together this watermelon. It doesn't look too complicated. I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. So you can kind of see it's pretty easy to fold and uh, for this one at least some of the others are a little more complex they're like kind of all you know um, basically balloons but with slight alterations to make it look a little cooler but um, just a fun kind of design though I think you, you know you get it because the design is cool and it looks neat and you know it's cool because these have like a 3d feel um, and they just make fun toys for kids and stuff um, if you're you know trying to create an origami world and you want to have all these different things these uh, kits can be a lot of fun all the um, hamburger series and the sushi series and the sweets and cakes and stuff are just all such so much fun so I always really recommend these I know they're a huge hit with people who kind of are fans of origami and like the unique you know toy element of of origami for sure so um, I would definitely recommend it for that uh, so if you guys uh, have any questions or comments leave them in the comment section below and I'll have some more fun things to share with you guys in the days to come thanks again always so much for watching and I'll see you all next time bye